Hello everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with another, well it's just my second, pure cigar um, review. And this is a blind review where I'm smoking one cigar, I'm just having this cigar, and i um, going to expound upon my findings. Uh, it still can make for good video, especially if, again, if these expensive cigars or hard to find cigars are rarely reviewed, that's what needs to happen. And, and it, it needs to happen. And the cigar today we have, of course, you know, the Opus X 20th year anniversary. Uh, this was purchased approximately two years ago, actually almost three years ago. Um, if you're familiar or not familiar with Opus X, you'll know that these cigars are notorious for not being that good right away every time i talk to, to somebody who loves opus x i always tell them they never taste good as they are advertised as people go nuts for them and they say oh that's because you have to age your uh, opus x and okay that sounds fine but why am i paying the price as much as I pay for these cigars, the Opus X line, and they're not ready to smoke yet. I guess that's for another video. All right, let's talk about the next part, and that is the overall look and the presentation of this, this cigar. As you see, it's going to be in that cedar um, little sheath, and we'll go ahead and take that off with the nice blue ribbon. And um, it's a light brown almost uh not to put it down but almost the color of a paper bag um with a little bit of tan and brown then we have we, you it just draws your eye is that beautiful opus x 20th year anniversary uh label and band it is beautiful probably one of the best looking bands i have ever ever seen on a cigar now that doesn't make the cigar a really good cigar all the time i've seen very very simple bands make for an awesome cigar so the band has nothing to do with what takes place when you blend and put that cigar together all the care and everything else it's it's not really about the band it's about what's inside so let's talk about what's inside the, the Opus X line is all Dominican. It's the Dominican wrapper, Dominican binder, Dominican filler. All the way through, and that's what Opus X really, really came about to showcase that you can have a wrapper from the Dominican Republic. There's very few wrappers from Dominican Republic. All right, uh, I'm getting a pepper blast, definitely. Definitely get a pepper blast. Cedar, sweet cedar. That yeah, leather. Some spice, baking spices. So right off the bat, pretty good cigar. I'm not blown away yet. But I'll get back to you once we get a little bit more into the first third. And uh, we'll talk about what I'm experiencing and what, what's, what's transpired, what has transpired.
All right, we're back just in the first third, right in the middle of the first third. And to me, at this point is when you really find out how good the cigar is. The second third gives you an extreme amount of flavor, the extreme amount of character of the cigar. But the uh, first third usually lets you know if you have a good cigar or not. Let me move my computer here. So what, have I, what am I experiencing? Like I said, Earlier, I had a big pepper blast that's over with. Thank goodness, I don't like that. <coughs> um, so what am I experiencing right now before when I first explained to you what I was on the first light, what I experienced? It was big pepper blast. That's over with. I don't really care for big pepper blast. So it's good. That's done. Cedar, leather. Vanilla and fruitiness, I can't really explain. I, it's not, it's not, it's not really orange. Maybe a little bit of orange, because it's not citrusy, acid, or or sourness. Um, it may be just simply the sweetness mixed in. I'm not sure how to explain it because it's not a vegetable. It's not vegeta vegetable. E, <laughs> it's more fruity before. So so far, this is going. This is panning out to be a really good cigar. As I as I uh, maybe talked to, I didn't talk talk enough about when I first uh, came came on about this cigar. This is the 20th anniversary. These are very difficult to find. Another reason why they're not being. Um, presented and reviewed as often i found these online back ordered for around thirty dollars i've seen them upwards of fifty dollars back ordered i have not ever seen them anywhere if you find it you're going to pay a heavy price you're going to pay a heavy price and if you don't pay a heavy price buy as many as you possibly can because a lot of times, people buy Opus X just to resell them. Just to resell them because of their collectability. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I could probably sell this probably for at least $50, maybe even $80. Because they're so rare, so hard to find. And this, if I didn't explain it, I think I did. This is a two-year-old cigar. I waited two years, actually more than two years, to smoke this cigar. So... When the scar gets a little bit older, the price goes up, much like alcohol or anything else. All right, I'll get back to you once we're in the second third. All right, and we're back. Uh, again, let me tell you some things I didn't mention last time. Uh, this particular cigar, the strength is a medium. Um, the size I'm actually working with is their their Toro, uh, also known as their father and son. As time went on, hitting going through the second, third, um, it started to even ramp up even better. Uh, I looked at other reviews. They talked about different things, and they talked about vanilla. The vanilla really started to come through on the second, third. And then it started to get bitter bitter nasty flavor I can't really tell you what it actually was just surprisingly not that good for how how serious of a cigar this is I don't know but when I first when I first had this cigar I was like this is definitely a, a four out of five now I don't know it may it may be dropped down to a three all right, I'll get back to you and tell you more about this cigar uh, once we're in the middle of the uh, last third. Okay, we're back. This is the end, last third. And let me tell you what I have experienced with this cigar. Um, to jump to it so... If you don't want to watch any more of this video or you jumped ahead, I will tell you that this is not a cigar I will 
purchase again. I will not purchase this cigar again only because how expensive this cigar potentially will cost. Um, if you want to purchase it for the sake of collectability, absolutely you should. Because again, that resale value and the collectability of Opus X is far, far superior than most cigars. Um, however, that time where it was a bitter, nasty flavor, is no, it, it should never happen for a high-level cigar. And I kept this cigar in a, in a very good, uh, good way or um, very... Um, I kept this cigar the right way in a humidor, and it was it was taken care of very well. That bitterness w didn't last long. It was only maybe maybe five minutes, but it should never happen. It should never ever happen, and that knocked it down to a three because it was great. It was a great cigar. A four for me. That's what I would have rated it. Is a very very good score, excellent score, um, and I would tell you to buy as many as you possibly can. This I'm telling you. If, it, if you can find it for $20, yeah, get it, experience it, and make sure you age it. I did um, take the time out to pair it. I, I paired it with the Frappin, or Frappin uh, Cigar Perfect. That is the XO Cognac. I also paired it with the Hibiki Centauri whisk, uh, Japanese Whiskey. And I also paired it with the Dalmore Cigar Malt. All of them paired really well with these. All three of these are really good pairing distill A spirits. Uh, the best one was the Hibiki. Hibiki did the best with this. At the uh, last third, the first third probably would have been, and the second third probably would have been really good. But like I said, in the middle, somewhere in the middle, it just went funky. It went really funky, and I don't, I was not pleased with it so again i was i would advise if it's if it's a really good price get it if it's not a really good price leave it alone and i again the my score is a three out of five meaning it's very good good but for the price you're most likely going to pay for that cigar no no um I think that's pretty much it. Also, the last third, usually I, I don't smoke it too deep into the last third. And the last third wasn't a lot of the really nice flavors that were coming through had dulled down to just good tobacco flavor. Right now, it's a good cigar. But for the price you're going to pay... It needs to be an excellent cigar, and it's not an excellent cigar right now. It's just a good cigar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Charles Wallingford. The Opus X 20th anniversary for the right price is how I would spend my money. If you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you subscribe, like, and please leave a comment.